Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Getting Snacky with Daryl. I'm not sure if you can tell by the bag, but I went to Auntie Annie's uh, today because they are offering up their new item, pretzel rolls. That's right, they're offering up a bacon and cheddar pretzel roll and a turkey and cheddar pretzel roll. And actually, if you order it through their app, uh, through their pretzel perks, you're able to get it at a discounted price. Uh, it's uh, two for $6. Kind of steep, I'm not gonna lie, off the bat. So hopefully this will taste amazing and make it at least worth it coming out. But Auntie Annie's pretzels are pretty decent when it comes down to it. They're uh, pizza ones. If you're looking for something sweet, they have their cinnamon sugar. Also their um, their uh, pretzel dogs are pretty good. So they're really good and snacky. And they're, again, they're located at a lot of malls. That's where I'm at now. I'm in the parking garage of my local mall uh, because that's where they're at. They don't, I don't think there's any other freestanding ones. There might be in a grocery store out here. They're in a mire. You can find them at a Meyer as well. At any rate, we're gonna be trying the pretzel rolls. I did also get some sauces as I drop one. Uh, the hot salsa cheese sauce and the Ken's honey mustard. There we go, Ken's honey mustard. Sorry, let me get the focus there. Ken's honey mustard. All right, so let's see, I, pull, I pulled one out. Uh, they're actually in a, in a cup here. Let me do that. Let me just pull them out of the cup. Make it a little bit easier for everybody here. All right, so it looks like Kind of like one of the like crescent rolls <laughs> when it comes down to it. Um, so they're, it's wrapped around almost like around like how they make their um, their pretzel dogs. And there's the salt on top. I can see the cheese coming out. And then this one is the turkey. Yes, this one's a turkey. At least that's what it looks like. This one looks like the turkey one. And we're just going to go right in. Right away, you just smell the, the bread the pretzel and the salt and the, all that gooiness. Now the cheese is a little melted, but it has sat for a couple minutes from me picking it up and walking back to my car. So it's not, I don't, it's not gonna be gooey, but at least it is melted. All right, here we go. The pretzel rolls from Auntie Anne's. Anne's or Andy's? Actually, let me know, is it Auntie Anne's or Andy's? Because I always hear people call it something different. Let me see if I make sure I'm not just reading it wrong. Oh, here we go. Yeah, A-N-N-E, is that Anne or Annie's? All right, let's make it back right to it. Getting distracted. Let's go. Hmm. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you know what? That's the dough. I thought there was, I thought there was some like mayo or something. I think that's just, yeah. That's just like the uncooked dough. It's not exactly off-putting, but it's a little, man, it, it's, I guess now that I said it out loud, it's a little off-putting. It doesn't taste bad. It's just that it's not cooked all the way. But that just means that they, it's a filling. They put the meat and the cheese together. It looks like they rolled cheese around a turkey slice or two. And then they wrapped the dough and they cooked it. So you know at least it's it's fresh, freshly made. So that's going for them. Taste wise, it's a turkey and cheese sandwich, a pretzel sandwich. There is a little sweetness to it. I'm not sure if that's from the turkey. I'm not sure what kind of turkey they're using, if it's like a honey smoked or something like that. But there's a little sweetness to it. But all in all, it tastes fine. All right, let's just go in I saved some, we're gonna do some dipping. Now, oh, now this should be the bacon one. Pardon me, there's no salt on this guy. Same kind of setup, but no salt. So, all right, let's just go right in. I'll, there you go, see that. There's the bacon there. All right, let's just go right in. Hmm, now I'm curious. This one seems to be cooked a little bit more but just so does still have that undercookedness on the inside there which again is a little unfortunate all right i mean it, it takes there's a decent amount of bacon because it's wrapped all the way through see that and there's the cheese so the taste is very familiar tastes fine i'm curious why this one didn't have salt i didn't ask for anything i just ordered online and then so i maybe i gotta double check if it actually says it's unsalted versus salted or you can get them either way I just ordered one of each and then this is how it came. So I don't hate it, but I kind of kind of wish it did have some salt on there just to make it a little bit more of a pretzel. Go one more bite. 
Okay. I mean, it's a decent bacon. It's a decent bacon. It's not crispy, but it tastes good. It tastes a, it's a good taste, man. There's a decent amount. So there you go, and you see all that cheese. So there's the filling there. Now let's do some sauces here. The uh, hot salsa cheese sauce. I haven't had this. I don't think I've ever had this one. Let's do that one. Let's do that one with, I guess let's do that one with the bacon. Again, this was not suggested. I, I just I just grabbed these sauces because I wanted to dip some things in there. Here we go. <laughs> the bacon, bacon and cheddar with the hot salsa cheese sauce. Mm. Hmm. There we go. There's a little kick. Ooh, there's a little heat there on the end there. That's pretty decent. It's a thicker cheese. I don't know if it can be warmed up or if they serve it warm, but it's how it came. I mean, it tastes fine. It's a good dipping. I mean, pretzels are meant to be dipped. Um, I, I don't mind. I'd rather have a cheddar or a cheese sauce, but I don't mind pets. Uh, excuse me. Mustard. Uh, it's cheese, then mustard, and then the sweet is where I'd go with. Uh, when I'm doing my pretzels. So let me know let me know in the comments so what do you guys do when you dip your pretzels in? All right, this is now the turkey turkey cheese and this is the Ken's honey mustard. And I'm a honey mustard guy. If you guys watch any of my reviews, you know uh, honey mustard is one of my favorite sauces. I'll put some cards up in the corner here. I have a couple uh honey mustard <laughs> not say reviews but where I had honey mustard. So let me try this. Here we go. Mmm. Ken's Steakhouse. I know they make salad dressings. They're honey mustard. I don't think I've ever had their honey mustard. This is a solid honey mustard. I can see that. That's a solid honey mustard. Okay. Now, I, also, I just saw a video uh, from another YouTuber, food channel, number six with cheese. They did a whole review of a bunch of Ken's uh, dressings and sauces. For a Super Bowl uh, setup, so go ahead check them out. I'll put a link in the description box. Uh, so I just saw, I literally just watched that video. Uh, those are two wild guys, also here, actually based in Chicago. So check them out. Number six with cheese, jump cup, big ups to Sean and Corey. <laughs> sure, I'll have a drink. Okay, anyway, <laughs> you guys have a good one. Oh, kind of, I got I got sidetracked there. So these were. You get them for two for six because there's a discount if you go through their app uh, between 11 and two. I'm sorry, guys. They taste all right, but that's it. They they taste all right. And for like three dollars each, each one of those is three dollars. Now, they, they could get packages for those. Like, I think they could serve them in like in a six pack or a 12 pack or something like that. But for three dollars each and that's on the discounted. Uh -uh. I'm sorry, Auntie Ann's, Auntie Annie's. No way. I'm sorry. This needs to be two for three. If anything, two for three. Uh, so this ain't, if you're there, it's something different, but definitely you don't, it's not worth, it's definitely not worth it. I'm sorry, definitely not worth it. It tastes fine, definitely not worth it. The honey mustard actually is pretty good and the hot hot salsa cheese is pretty good. I would dip the, the pretzels in there anytime or anything else really for that matter. So I'm gonna take these guys home, but I guess this was a, an expensive snack for me this time around. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me in this episode of Getting Snacky with Daryl. Please be safe, stay warm, and have a snack-tastic day. <laughs> Later!